Hello Libra, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. Now we've got travel, we've got grieving. So there could be something upsetting you here and this is about moving on from it. It literally could be taking a holiday to get over upsets, but travelling is moving forward. Now, when we move forward, we should be accepting and we have to go with the flow of life here to travel forward smoothly. So don't be fighting against things. Now, that's easy to say, depending on what the grieving is, but you need to work through the grieving process and you will come out the other end and move on. We don't want to suppress our feelings. We want to be recognising them and working through them so that we can move forward. Let's see what the spiritual guidance is. If this resonates with you, please like, share and subscribe. The Two of Swords, the King of Swords, Page of Wands, the Three of Swords, the overall central energy here is the Eight of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Page of Cups, and the Seven of Cups. Now, we'll just take this row right here because what we've got here is we've got upsets, we've got grieving, we've got don't be beating yourself up here either. We can't change or control what's happening. And that's what I'm saying to you. Sometimes things are out with our control. Um, this can be regrets and dwelling and disappointments, heartfelt disappointments. Now, this could be in any area of your life. It could be with your finances, your relationships, your environments or your job here. This is a general reading. The thing about this is this is a process that needs to be worked through. Like I did say, you have to work through your emotions here, but you will come out the other end. The clouds do clear and a new day does dawn. So we need to really be, there's a form of, accept, I do feel there's a form of acceptance needed here so that we can go forward in a smoother manner. But like I say, if it's a grieving process, we need to work through that process to come out the other end. So it's very difficult just now for you to make decisions. You can't see the way forward, but you will heal. And you will be able to see the way forward at some point. So I'm not going to put a time limit on that. That's different for everybody. But you will get the clarity you need eventually. It's about working through this process so that we can make decisions for our future here. Decide how we want to go forward. And it's that moving forward that's important. It will take everybody different periods of time. Listening to your intuition and following your heart, once you've worked through this process, will definitely help. So there will come a time where, you know, you'll need to listen to your heart here. Your intuition will guide you forward onto a more productive path with regards to your happiness. Now, it's a very heavy energy. I did a reading here earlier, and I can't remember what sign it was, and it was very similar. Um, there are blessings that will come in. There's options that you will be able to exercise the right of choice at some time. I know it might be difficult just now. It might be gathering information that's needed that helps you as well with your choices, but there are blessings that will come in here. And if you look here at the back of this person here, there's two cups. And if you come into the present, I know it's easy to say, if you can reach for that higher thought and count your blessings with that you have around you, it can help with the grieving process. So having the right people around is important as well when we're, we're feeling these kind of upsets. But you will come a time where you'll be able to think about your happiness, exercise the choice, see the blessings and move forward. Now, it's the idea of moving forward. It's a very slow process I'm feeling here as well. I felt that with the other reading. So, you know, this here is about getting clarity. You will come out the other end. It's about seeing the way forward. It's about getting clarity and making sense of the situation here. This could be legal advice, financial advice, professional advice of any kind. It could be talking, having that important conversation that helps move you on from this upset that you're going through. Um, but you will, you have got the skills to bring the stability back. You will intuitively be guided on how to heal and how to go forward. You will make progress. Uh, and this is about you having the skills to lay the solid foundations. Now, you, it's a collaborative energy. So like I say, having the right people around is important at this time because we're working with one person or more here to lay the solid foundations on what we can build a future and start to build things up again. You will see progress. And this is about focusing on that, putting your efforts into things again, finding that way of working on a situation and focusing on that and not being distracted by everything else round about. And this happens once you've worked your way through the grieving process. So this is here to say, this reading is here to say that, you know, 
you will be inspired again. You will find happiness again. There will be other opportunities that will come forward. You have got the skills to lay the solid foundations for the future. Um, teamwork is important here, definitely. And if you focus on your goals, whether it be family, relationships, finances, environments, you have got the skills to move forward. And if, you, if this is to do with work, for example, if you've got the skills, you might want to join new teams. Uh, you might want to take your skills elsewhere. It could be a million different things and moving on. Travel can be moving on. Uh, this could also you, be you bringing in a mentor here as well uh, to develop your skills. So your passion, you will get your mojo back. Things will progress. Uh, but we need to work through the process, the grieving process first, before we can uh, exercise the right to choice and see the way forward here. Do it now. Do it now. Don't put off any longer. Have courage. Listen to your intuitions, for, for it's your guiding voice and soul. So always tune in with your intuition and tune in with spirit. Do it now. It will help with the process. If you give it out to spirit, um, they'll support you at this time. Don't be going through this on your own. Anxiety. Anxiety. We surround you with a healing light of amethyst. Take a deep breath and breathe in this beautiful violet light. Feel your anxiety melting away. There is nothing to fear. There is only love. You will get through this. You will get through it and come out the other end. Let spirit help you. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.